hi there well maybe I should have called this video going light in this video I show you how I turned seven grams of Depron into an RC flyable model let's get started well I'm staying on the lightweight theme with another foamy now this is the donuts models nano fusion now I didn't quite know what to expect I've seen online that all you get is the foam and I must admit all you get is the foam very lightweight foam and no instructions whatsoever it says on the ad that I bought it from it's for experienced modelers anyhow I figured I'd have a go at putting it together and I'm gonna try and make it the lightest construction I've ever made and I hope to use the same parts that I used in a mini little RC glider conversion this is the motor a BR1104 this is an eBay one but unfortunately it doesn't come with screws the Banggood one does come with screws one thing I've always struggled with is finding a lightweight speed controller and then I discovered these online 3 amp brushless speed controller weighs 0.4 grams it's going to be a challenge with no instructions but I like a challenge I'm going to give it a go I guess you have to stick it together with you who pour right well wish me luck right well I guess that's the main spa if you call it that and I guess you have to fold it in half and cut these out for struts okay then let's start by folding the wing I think a light score with the back of the handle along where it's supposed to fold will actually help it to fold tidily yeah that's gonna make a wing and once you fold it and put a little thing in there that probably crease isn't actually going to affect it very much right well i've got to cut out all the rest of these bits and then i'm going to try and glue this into some kind of fuselage so i'll see you in a bit right well i'm almost cut out now almost there just these little struts but this is such flimsy foam i mean just look at it look it's a joke really i wonder if anyone's ever actually managed to create a model out of this especially with no instructions I mean how can you fit a motor or fit a servo into that well miracles can happen because a couple of hours later after the application of a bit of yoohoo pour I've actually created this little thing much smaller and lighter than I imagined it was going to be in fact it comes in at seven grams construction wasn't all that difficult really well the wing was easy enough to put together fold it like I'd imagined fold glue together you who pour you've got a minute or two to set and wiggle about and then I put a couple of small bulkheads in slid these in put a couple of small bulkheads in just to hold them in position smear of you who on both surfaces a couple of minutes assemble leave it for five minutes likewise there figured out how this should vaguely go it all, the construction has been helped by the fact that I've just put together a Mythos kit which actually came with a ready-made wing and was well, much bigger and but much similar construction with this fillet down the top and the bottom and so on so that helped a lot but now I've put it together I'm having serious doubts whether or not it's going to be possible to con convert this to RC when you think about the fact that minimum I'm going to need two servos even if there's just one there for the ailerons one for elevator that's six gram servos just about doable plus the receiver I'm going to use which is this one which is pretty small and light but to tuck that in as well plus a speed controller plus even a small battery like so and the BR1104 motor so getting to the nitty-gritty some time ago I put this together so I'm thinking of sacrificing the two little motors and the tiny little board from this thing which was actually something I knocked together from a rubber powered model and converted with motors from this F22 which actually flew but was really rubbish to fly almost uncontrollable so hence I pulled the bits out of it to use for something at a future time and I'm pretty sure that it would be more than enough power for this little lightweight 7 gram model the biplane was actually around the 50 grams, 50 gram mark. A stereo, of course, is just by differential thrust. So, watch this space. I think that's going to be the next project. Right, so no sooner said than done. Let's see what these bits weigh once I get this off. Right, let's see what this weighs. 
11 grams for two motors and a receiver. Add the battery. 19 grams. Right, well 19 grams on a 7 grams model I think would do the job. That's going to be fun actually installing that into this. Put obviously one here, one here. Should be enough power for, it, for, for this to actually climb. This this was underpowered, it just about managed to maintain height, but what the intention was to open the throttle and it will climb and use the differential steering on these for it to go left right. Right, so assuming the center of gravity is probably about here, let's see how we're going to have to distribute this weight to get it in the right place. It seems to me right if the receiver is here as you can see I've just cut a little panel out from the bottom here as you can see I think with the receiver there and this little battery here it will be just about right so that's what I'm going to go for I'm going to cut a, little, a couple of slots there try and feed the motor wires through to that join them to that that's it that'll be job done oh and I've got to find some way of bracing these so that they don't flap about little bit of um, copper wire pushed through and a blob of glue actually I found means you can fix it and then you can bend it if you want to as well to change the angles yeah that should work okay so I cut the motor wires having carefully figured out which one goes where black and white on this side red and white that side and now I know how a surgeon feels when he's doing keyhole surgery because this is what I'm having to do to get the wires through. Poke that up through there. Tuck that onto there like that. Yeah, I've got it. Don't, don't know if you can see it. I've got it. Yep, yeah, I've got it. Tuck that through there. I must say, this is quite an interesting challenge. Come on now. Come on wires, go through. Don't give me grief. Oh, I know it's catching, it's catching, that's why I'm catching on the phone. Right, the first one went through so easily, I thought I'd make video showing this one. Right, I've got it. I've got it, slowly, slowly. Yeah, we've got it. One wire already broke when I was taking it apart. I took a precaution of putting some blobs of hot glue on the solder joints there, because it's very fragile. So, that will now tuck down there. I can resolder the motors on, tuck the wires in, and then put a couple of blobs of hot glue just to hold them in place. That's the plan. We will see. Back in a bit. Well, there it is. That tucks nicely in there. Antenna sticking out the side. The idea being that you can connect the battery and tuck that, tuck it in, and that should just about give me a centre of gravity just about here. Right, we will see. Don't go away. Right, so here we go. Can't do this on camera, a bit too fine a job because because these are very small wires. But you know the trick, you've got to tin it first. I've got a little bit of shrink, shrink sleeve, I can't even say it, that's going to go on. But make sure you tin first and then it should be quite straightforward. And if you're wondering how to do it, you definitely need some helping hands, these things. And then it's just a question of just going in, give it a slight touch, slight touch with solder on there. But I can't do it on camera because I've got to get close down here to it. Well, I must say that was a little tricky soldering job there. Whew. I cut it off to leave as much as I possibly could to go from there to work on. Now it's a question of just slide the shrink down and put it over it. And in case you haven't seen it, I made a four drone motor mini little glider conversion. It's on my channel. Four of these tiny little motors on a five pound truck glider so don't forget to check that out it's kind of given me a taste now for doing these fine micro jobs good fun right so shrunk and tidy i can poke those in and fit the motor in position i just hope hot glue is going to actually work on this we will see right well that was one tucked in and taped in position to keep it out of the way and now that one is connected so all i've got to do is tuck it in and contemplate about holding what's going to hold the battery but I mean that's pretty easy really but it's kind of 80% there really I must say that was a pretty tricky job right so here she is ready for a maiden 
all sorted and looking tidy apart from the fact I've got to kind of find some way of disguising these motors here but all glued together let's take a closer look battery fits nicely in there and while I'm on the subject time for a true confession despite having made careful notes about which way these motors go so that the thrust worked the right way soldered them all up glued them in fired it up moved the controller this way to the left expecting this motor to speed up and that motor speeded up and fool that I am because I'd installed them upside down I'd actually put them in the wrong way around didn't want to actually try and hack them out and have to resolder here but luckily there was enough wire there for me to pull that through and solder here and you can see what a tricky job that was so a bit of a word of warning there always check and double check but anyway let's take a closer look I've added a little cover there so that that tucks in nicely added a few bits of this foam inside the nose because it was very crushable blocked that off there added my little bits of copper here so that if I want to I can actually adjust the trim of these and a little bit of copper just under there so that I can adjust the trim of the elevator because you can't actually do much else with these and with the battery tucked in here I'll show you upside down the center of gravity is just about perfect just here and I can slide it slide the battery back back and forth a little bit to fine adjust that and it comes in at 20 I can't quite get it there, 24 grams shall we say and we started out with seven here and it will actually go vertical from my hand with a fresh battery in it so more than enough power there so that's it it's a shame plan A didn't work and I had to switch to plan B but I'm very well pleased with the way it's turned out and it'll be maiden soon plus need to maiden the Mythos that I just built and my Mini F22 in foam board so if you'd like to see those don't forget to hit subscribe and maybe even give it a like if you've enjoyed it and why not check out some of the other bits on my channel especially the maiden of my little Mini with four tiny little drone motors which flew amazingly well but that's all for now thanks for watching hopefully i will catch you all again soon bye for now